Big news, everyone. There's a new world's biggest prime number. It's a Mersenne prime. And today, we're going to hear directly from the man who discovered it. You're going to be amazed at the length he went to, and you're going to be a little bit surprised at the amount of money he spent as well. I'm not doing my job as a journalist if I don't ask then. What does it cost to find a Mersenne Prime? We're also going to talk with the founder of the great internet Mersenne Prime search, which played a key role and find out what he thinks all about it. Progress was kind of slow until Luke came along and, and put his supercomputer to work. But first, let's hear from our resident prime number enthusiast, Dr. James Grime. Mersenne Prime is a prime number, of course, you know, famous prime numbers, building blocks of all of the numbers. But the Mersenne Primes is one of those special categories of primes. Uh, in this case, a Mersenne Prime is one less than a power of two. Powers of two can get very big very quickly. So they would start with two, four, eight, 16, 32, and so on. We're looking at one less than the powers of two. So instead of saying four, eight, 16, 32, we're looking at one less than that. So what's that gonna be? Three, seven, 15, which is not a prime, 31, which is a prime. So some of these are primes and some of them are not primes. They're kind of useful to, for us uh, for checking large prime numbers because the test for checking whether they're prime or not is particularly easy to do on modern computers. The Mersenne primes always caught my eye, you know, in and of themselves because they're so close to computing powers of two, etc. cetera. Um, and I kind of sort of converged around, it's a, you know, physicists keep talking about, you know, information in the universe being an important, you know, first principle. So let me go try to find a new unique piece of big information and, you know, see if that helps me, you know, helps guide my thinking about large numbers. So we famously see them written like as two to the N minus one, but not all Ns work. Yeah, so that's right. So we can show that if your Mersenne number, which would be two to the power N minus one, that power, that N could be any number you want, but we can show that that number must be a prime for the Mersenne number to be a prime. I mean, in this case, which is exciting. So the, the big prime number that we found here is 41 million digits long. Huge number, absolutely huge. But the exponents that we're using for our power of two is what, nine digits long. Uh, so yes, you can just use a, a list of primes, work through that. And then the result is absolutely huge. Six years, I think it's been since you last had one. Pretty close. Late 2018. How do you feel? Were you beginning to wonder if it was ever going to happen again? Well, <laughs> progress was kind of slow until Luke came along and, and put his supercomputer to work. Uh, once he did that, I was pretty sure we'd find one within two or three years. No one was really treating it as a race. Um, you know, it was just sort of a, you know, put it into the bucket, see if it comes out eventually. And, you know, I'm looking at it. It's been, it had been about the longest period of time ever since a new Mersenne Prime had been discovered, at least through the GIMPS program. My background at my former employer was very much, you know, if computing's too slow, throw some GPUs at it. So I, you know, figured I have some budget, I have some interest, I'm going to see if I can, you know, basically do practical accelerated computing. Great internet Mersenne Prime search. Yeah. So this has been going since the 90s. Is that right? Uh, looking for these large Mersenne Primes. It's an exercise. They say it's an exercise in hardware, computer power. Uh, just as an exercise in computing and solving this problem. Throw my personal GPUs at it a little bit. Okay, I didn't find one within my patients, which is not as long as it might be. Basically kept redoubling, find what cloud GPUs were available. I shifted sort of through most of the major cloud providers over time, eventually converging on one or two that I could get the best you know, price and availability and specs on. Um, at some point, I had to form the Durable Science LLC, you know, company to you know have a sufficiently official 
you know, home for the project. The big tech companies aren't super interested in license, you know, uh, uh, selling compute resources at the scale I'm doing to, you know, private individuals. So, you know, put a company there to have some respectability. The actual finding of these Mersenne primes themselves, they're not necessarily useful, but it is kind of, it's kind of a, a note in history. It's a step along the way in history. And to be someone who finds one of these primes, I mean, that's, that's, that's bragging rights. You, you seem to me speaking to you like a guy who's pretty calm and doesn't get particularly excited. Were you like, were you jumping off the walls or what was going on? Uh, I was actually um, waiting outside the San Jose security airport line, you know, the uh, TSA check-in um, when I was logging in to check my results. I knew it would you know, show up right about then, you know, saw the primality, sent it in uh, and got in my, uh, got in the security line. Uh, I was maybe less excited than I could have been because travel is always a bit of a strain. So it's kind of a lot going on. <laughs> yeah, that's a, it's a bummer that I had to be in an airport queue. They're the worst places in the world. <laughs> right. And well, take the result and whatever the circumstances. You know, in the past we had uh, missed a couple of primes because they just sat in the database and it's supposed to automatically email me when it, when one that comes comes in and and it, that failed, so he wanted to let me know, don't miss this one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so uh, it was pretty exciting, and uh, I think Luke was pretty excited too. Yeah, in his understated way. <laughs> I haven't actually spoken to him. We've it's all been done by email with Luke. So it was it was it was actually pretty exciting to me to you know reach a scale of you know. It's genuinely a global supercomputer, you know, put together in my office and found a unique result. It's pretty fun. What do you think it a Mersenne really Prime fun. costs these days? What does it cost to find a Mersenne Prime? Give me a number. Um, honestly, I stopped tracking carefully. I, I have it all so I can go recollect. I believe it's under two million. Yeah, that, that's a hefty chunk of change. You, you, you don't have to spend money to do this. It's, I think that was Luke's decision. <laughs> I think that was Luke's choice. How do you feel about how much effort he's put into it, though, and how much of himself he's given to it? It's pretty special, isn't it? It's it's staggering how much, how many results his super supercomputer using GPUs puts out. I mean, before he started, we were getting like three hundred tests a day. And at, at his peak, he was turning in 3,500 a day. Does it feel like you, does it feel amazing? Does it feel like just another stamp in the stamp collection or does this number feel special to you? Um, this number feels special, but it's, you know, any project has its components that are important. You know, the, the um, you know, this one gets the headlines, but it's you know hard to rate this over you know, the scope of work that went into putting the GPU platform together in the first place. And, you know, of course, I'm not taking the credit for that. What's the point of this? It's fun. I mean, we do things for fun all the time. I mean, the joy of discovery. Uh, for me personally, I enjoy the computer programming problem, which is optimizing the the whole process from the program written to the algorithms used, that's my job. Uh, other people who download the program, they they like each time you test one of these things, you have a one in a million shot of, of finding a new prime and, and having a little bit of glory. So, you know, for different people, they get different things out of it. I saw an incredibly talented set of, you know, scientists and engineers that put some remarkable new software and technology together in primality proving large number multiplication, et cetera, et cetera. And, you know, they didn't have big corporate support. So, I, you know, okay, I've had some ability to chip in. So, you know, see if I can emphasize and bring some light to some good work going on elsewhere in the world.
anyone can do it with their own home computer. They can download the GIMPs program. They're taking part. In my head, GIMPs was always like, you know, the little man and the little woman running a computer in their office, hoping they're going to be the one to strike at Lucky. I mean, this is this is get industrial now. Yeah, well, I guess that de depends upon Luke. It could go back to the old mom and pop shops uh, uh, finding the next prime, or he might stick with it. I I don't know how ma many how much of his resources he wants to devote to future computing. Honestly, I felt a tiny bit bad about the uh, disruption I caused on the you know. Mersenne Prime wavefront, you know, I sort of threw so much computing at it that it sort of made all of their backlog and double checking a little bit messy because I spread out the search so much. So right now I've shifted the computer to work on the double checking backlog for a little bit. So that's kind of the less glamorous work because more likely than not, you're just going to confirm the ones that aren't primes. You're not going to find a new shiny superstar. Right. And so that means we've just found our 50 second Mersenne Prime means we also have just found our 52nd ever perfect number. Uh, a perfect number that is 82 million digits long. So you've also found a new perfect number, I guess, haven't you? It's pretty exciting. I, I have not gone and confirmed that all the divisors work out myself, but I, I will trust it. <laughs> Are you more excited about the Mersenne Prime or the perfect number? Um, I know the two go hand in hand, of course. I'm a little bit more excited about uh, fewer day-to-day -day monitorings of my supercomputer. <laughs> it's, it's been a big uh, ongoing monitoring project to keep it on the rails. <laughs> hey everyone, if you'd like to see the full interviews with both Luke and George, I'm going to put them on the Number File 2 channel. Do go and have a look. There's loads more information, a lot more context. They're really worth watching. Not just the headline-grabbing stuff that we popped in this video. I'll also include links to other videos we've made over the years about perfect numbers, Mersenne primes, prime numbers in general. There's going to be a bounty of links in the description and in the comment section. Go and have a look. They're, they're pretty excited. My, yeah. my dad is a, a music professor at University of South Alabama, and he was uh, possibly leaking the news to a couple of his math colleagues at a concert last week. We suspect we are, well, we're, we're definitely the first people to have ever printed it out. I suspect we're still the only people to have ever printed it out because that is over two million digits printed.